course they are, because of his party's yeah, economic mismanagement of the public finances. Of course, an economic mismanagement, a torpedoing of the economy that Douglas Ross demanded that we copy. Thank goodness we ignored him. Now, for a First Minister that loves the sound of his own voice, it seems quite stark that he is silent when it really matters. Members. Silent on all of these questions. First I think Minister. Douglas Ross. I think Douglas Ross is just jealous because nobody likes the sound of his voice. Yeah. I tell you, presiding <laughs> officer. His post truth, his lies about the police service, it simply will not wash here in Scotland, presiding officer. How did SNP First Minister Hamza Youssef withdraw his remark? Well, you just have to wait and see. And also there's some added bonus of some Tory snowflakery for you at the end of First Minister's questions where the topic of debate was police funding. Thank you very much, Presiding Officer. And I remind the Chamber that my wife is a serving police officer. Serious failures in the SNP's centralisation of Police Scotland contributed to tragic deaths on the M9 in 2015. The deaths of Lamara Bell and John Yule were a tragedy that the government vowed would never happen again. But this week, David Kennedy of the Scottish Police Federation said this, we might see more M9 cases appearing where people actually die. That's a harsh reality if there are not enough police officers. Under the SNP, police numbers have fallen by more than 700 since the creation of Police Scotland. How much lower will Hamza Youssef let them fall? First Minister. First and foremost, uh, Presiding Officer, my thoughts remain with the families of Lamana Bell and John Yule, affected, of course, by that tragic incident on the M9 in 2015. In relation to the facts around uh, Police Scotland, let me, let me just remind Douglas Ross of a few important facts. First and foremost, uh, the SNP-led Scottish Government has increased police numbers since we came to power. They've increased uh, by over 300. And that means, of course, while we have increased police numbers, uh, we have continued to see more officers per head in Scotland than in England and Wales. If we look at the numbers per uh, 10,000 of the population, Scotland has 30 officers per 10,000 of the population compared to 25 in England and in Wales. Let me also address the point made by the Scottish Police Federation, made by Douglas Ross. We are investing in our police service. That's why we've invested £1.45 billion this financial year. That's an increase in the resource budget of £80 million. And let me remind Douglas Ross, as the SNP-led Scottish Government has increased police numbers, it was his party in 2010 to 2019 that decreased police officer numbers in England by almost 19,000. Yeah. Douglas Ross. I mean, it was a very simple question. How low will Hamza Youssef let the police officer numbers fall in Scotland? Yeah. They have fallen by 700 since the creation of Police Scotland. And he speaks about investing. Well, the Scottish Police Federation said this. If the Scottish Government properly funded the police, then it wouldn't be bleak. But they are choosing not to. Not my words, but the words of the Police <coughs> Federation. And at the recent Scottish Police Authority meeting, Police Scotland officers described the cuts that they need to make as slash and burn. Deputy Chief Officer David Page said this, it used to be every pound as a prisoner, now it's every penny. That's why Police Scotland have been forced to launch a pilot where many crimes won't be investigated. I've previously asked the First Minister to come clean about which crimes would be overlooked, and he refused to answer. So will he now finally publish the full list of crimes that police in Scotland won't investigate? First Minister. Douglas Ross says that public services across Scotland are facing funding pressures. Of course they are, because of his party's yeah, economic mismanagement of the public finances. Of course, an economic mismanagement, a torpedoing of the economy that Douglas Ross demanded that we copy. Thank goodness we ignored him, much like the people of Scotland continue to ignore Douglas Ross day in and day out. On the substance of the issue in relation to Police Scotland, let me make it clear once again to Douglas Ross that under the SNP-led Scottish Government, we have more bobbies on the beat compared to England and Wales. We have increased funding for Police Scotland by an additional 6.3% in terms of their revenue. And of course, what is important to people is ensuring that their communities 
are safe. And that's why, under the SNP-led Scottish Government, recorded crime is at one of its lowest levels in almost half a century. 41% decrease in recorded crime uh, that we have seen since the SNP has been in government. So I'm not going to take lectures about the public finances from Douglas Ross when his party are the ones that have completely decimated this economy and decimated the public finances of this country. Douglas Ross. Another very straightforward question that the First Minister should be able to answer but refuses to do so. And it's not just police officer numbers that have been slashed. And this is important because the First Minister just said it's important that communities feel safe. Well, we learned recently that SNP budget cuts mean that police will have to close a further 30 stations across Scotland. Now, that's understandably causing a lot of concern in local communities who want to know if their police station is safe or not. So will Hamza Youssef be upfront and honest with people today, right now, about policing in their local community and tell us which stations will be closed? First Minister. Uh, first and foremost, uh, this is not news, of course, that Police Scotland published a document around their estates in 2019 uh, giving details of where, for example, they would seek to replace uh, some of their estate that was being uh, underused. Uh, and, and the reason they, of course, have done that is because uh, for modern, modern policing uh, purposes, it can often make sense to co-locate with partner organisations in modern, uh, well-equipped accommodation. But what people in Scotland are interested in is do, are there more bobbies uh, on the beat under the SNP government? There absolutely are. And in comparison to Conservative-led England or Labour-run Wales, we have more officers uh, per head. They want to know whether or not crime uh, is reducing. And under the SNP government, crime is at historically low levels uh, in, the last, uh, in comparison uh, to the last uh, 50 years, and 41% down since we came into power in 2007. And they also want to make sure that the police officers are being paid well. And I'm pleased to say that because of a recent acceptance of a very fair offer to police officers, police officers of every single rank are better paid here in Scotland than they are played, paid in Conservative-led England. So what I'll say very, very clearly is that we'll leave the operational decisions to police Scotland. Yeah. But people right across Scotland should be in no doubt whatsoever that their communities are safer because of our investment and the SNP's investment in Police Scotland. Well, the First Minister flipped through his folder a lot there but couldn't find an answer, which seems to be the only <laughs> thing constant in this session, because Hamza Youssef is forcing Police Scotland to close dozens of stations, but he won't say where. He's leaving them with no option but to stop investigating every crime, but he won't say which crimes. And he's forcing the police to cut officer numbers to the lowest level on record, but he won't say how low. Now, for a First Minister that loves the sound of his own voice, it seems quite stark that he is silent when it really matters. Members. Silent on all of these questions. Let's, let's hear just, Mr Ross. Let's just be very clear. Hamza Youssef is a criminal's dream. He doesn't want them stopped, he doesn't want them caught, and he doesn't want them in jail. Why is he being so sly and sleek it and secretive about the consequences of the SNP's cuts on Police Scotland? I think, Douglas Ross, I think Douglas Ross is just jealous because nobody likes the sound of his voice, yeah. I'll tell you, because I'm an officer. <laughs> let, let us, I, I, know, I know the Conservatives are in their post-truth stage. Yeah, exactly. uh, a government yeah. that is, yeah. a UK government that is out of ideas and I hope uh, out of time very, very shortly. But let's stick to the facts, because the facts tell us this, that there are more officers per head in Scotland than a Conservative-led England and Labour-led Wales. Crime is down under this Let's government. Let's the First Minister. Officers, officers are paid more fairly. In fact, are the best paid in the entire UK. So I know Douglas Ross, uh, despite having three or four or five jobs, I've lost count, presiding yeah. officer, was down at the Conservative Party conference this week, or as others have rightly dubbed it, the Conspiracy Party yeah, yeah, yeah. conference. His post-truth, his lies about the police service it simply will not wash here in Scotland, presiding officer. First, uh, 
First, First Minister, as all members are aware, it is wholly inappropriate to suggest that another member of this Parliament has lied, and I would be grateful, First Minister, if you might apologise. I'm, I'm happy to call it an, an, a deliberate inaccuracy, Presiding Officer, because that's clearly what it is. First Minister, I must ask that you apologise, please. Happy to apologise to anybody who's been offended by the post-truths that have come from the Conservative Party and anyone that has been offended by my remarks, Presiding Officer. First Minister, I would ask that you apologise to myself and to this chamber. I'm happy to apologise to the chamber uh, for any offence caused, Presiding Officer. Well, that's it. All sorted. There should be no more Tory blubbering and roaring like big girls' blouses. But you know that's not the Tory way, is it? So... Point of order, Stephen Kerr. Uh, presiding officer, I didn't raise a point of order during FMQs because I understand it's the convention of Parliament not to do so. But in your exchanges with the First Minister, when he was asked to apologise to you and the member that he falsely accused of lying, he did neither. So what steps will be taken to tackle the First Minister's willful disrespect of your office and this Parliament. I thank Mr Kerr for his point of order. I dealt with the matter at the time, Mr Kerr. We will now move on to members' business. Which... Something tells me Tory Stephen Kerr wasn't too impressed with that reply. Eh? But anyway, don't worry, Douglas Ross. Ross, 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 I mean. We're not laughing at you, we're just laughing near you. And judging by the signs I've seen up and down the football grounds in Scotland... They're not really fans of your voice either, Douglas Dross. Ross, Ross, Ross. So Hamza Yusuf probably has a point there, doesn't he? No, I've no idea who's right about the figures on police funding, and we all know you can sort of like muddy the waters with statistics, can't you? But I bet I know the two people who will know. The two Davies. And, all right, lads. <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description box below. Brilliant live streams. Love the passion. Especially from Indy. <laughs> but I thought Hamza Yusuf handled himself pretty well, didn't he? Pretty sharp with the one-liners, wasn't he? I wonder if it's a lefty thing. Mm, who knows? But for me, my first time watching First Minister's Questions, it was pretty dynamite stuff. I quite enjoyed it, I must say. And I must just have to pay a visit to Holyrood one a few times here this year. What do you guys think? Also, with that lion accusation, did you think First Minister Hamza Yusuf danced a little too close to the well and was teetering on falling over and into the well himself. <laughs> Who knows? But let me know down below what you guys think. And if you want to watch more of our Douglas Dross, Ross, 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 make a bit of a clown of himself, you might want to watch this video here. So it just lays me to say, until the next time, farewell, my friends, and take care.